Ja, hallo, herzlich willkommen heute hier in Großbritannien live bei Proper Bike zum nächsten Inside BMX Company. Wir zeigen euch mal wieder, was hinter den Kulissen einer BMX Firma so abgeht. Und ja, wir finden es wirklich schön hier und ähm, wir werden euch jetzt in den nächsten Minuten mal zeigen, was hinter den Kulissen bei Proper so abgeht und ähm, freuen uns, dass ihr dabei seid. I'm uh, Carlo Griggs and I'm the owner of Proper. Yeah, I started riding in, um, I guess it was about 1980, around that point, and then uh, rode contests in 83 and competed, I guess, all over the world, up till 2001 where I had an accident, which I had two years where I couldn't feel my leg, and the company grew from there because I was sat in the office on the computer, so. Um, we did just frames. First of all, it's just frames. And then we moved into, uh, we did frame bars, and then uh, obviously the cassette hub, which we invented the design for every cassette hub that's made now, has our shin bearing design in it. Um, well, it was actually, we was uh, in our office one day and we came up with a load of names be between the employees, and um, one of the guys said, proper sounds good, so that was it, the name stuck with that. Well, I think, BMX was building up then. It wasn't the market it is today. It's a lot bigger now than what it was 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, and there wasn't so many brands there, so it was kind of easier to do BMX back then, you know, for the marketplace. You know, we was, rim-wise, there was probably five manufacturers. Okay. You know, the, it, the market is different to what it used to be. There's a, there's too many brands out there. Uh, but, you know, we have, we all, we all ride and we all design as well. We all use... You know, we can all use CAD drawing stuff here. Yeah. We can develop products really quickly while a lot of the other companies can't. Um, we have some new stuff coming, but we, we're keeping it quiet okay. for the moment. Okay. We, have, uh, yeah, we have some bits and pieces coming. My name is Jamie Cameron and I do a lot of the day-to-day -day bits and pieces. We don't really have job titles as such, but okay. if I was to award myself one, then I guess brand manager is probably as good as any. Historically, then, the UK is where we started and, and the bit that we understand and obviously, yeah, um, yeah it's our, our home area. Um, so most of our sales are in the UK. Um, if you go to a skate park in the UK, then pretty much every kid, especially in this area, is going to have proper products on their bike. Um, if you go somewhere in France, then it's probably like one in every five or something along these lines, maybe not even as much as that. In terms of the industry, the most important thing that we've done has been to do things with the cassette hub that nobody had done previously. Um, Carlo came up with the idea of having the, the bushing on a shim. Mm -hmm. Using a bushing, it's much more um, durable. Um, and really, really simple, basically. And that technology, we didn't patent it, which you can look into the rights and wrongs of that, but we're a relatively small company <coughs> and, and just didn't understand the implications at that point in time. And now that same technology is used by mm -hmm. probably two thirds of the hub people making cassette hubs in, in the world. Yeah. Um, so that really gave a progression to BMX. You could put it down to being unfair, but to it, we were just a little bit naive mm. and that okay. I don't know if Ben touched on this at all but he's got a new design for a cassette hub which we think is going to push things forward again because it's another new concept which on the face of it we've only got one working prototype at the moment um, which we've had machined in the UK to avoid all these types of things and yeah. we're at the point now where we're getting patents for that and then that will go to Taiwan so we've made a mistake, learnt from the okay. mistake and hopefully going forwards if we come up with something that's going to be progressive for BMX. We've always, like, we could very easily make a pivotal seat and seat post and stamp proper on it, but that's not the way that we've always tried to do things, so everything that we've made, apart from brake cables and a few other just very basic things, everything else is, is bespoke to us. Um, which is why we've got an in-house designer who's familiar with SolidWorks and a kind of team of people with a lot of experience to do that. If it's just one person who's trying to make the adverts, do all the video stuff, design all the products, 
and a lot of the time they're probably just drawing it on like some very very basic mm-hmm. software and don't have the facility to do that we've got that so we might as well make use of it you know um, my name's Ben Marvin um, and I do the sort of technical side uh, so any technical queries any of the sort of technical questions or anything regarding me- sort of mechanical side of it um, I do a lot of the CAD drawings sort of the computer aided design stuff yeah. um, all the solid works um, some of the stuff between me Carlo and Jamie we sort of I get asked what we, we sort of sit down together and we work out what we want to do uh, and then I go away and I'll do a number of drawings uh, to give them an idea and then we put it on the table, we work out which one's the best, we'll then go ahead and get samples of them and then test them uh, for a few months, sometimes even longer, like the forks that we've just brought out. We've had testing for a year because we need to know that they're going to last. Yeah. We don't want to put a product out on the market and then two weeks later it breaks we want it to be solid strong so in the long run we build up a good reputation for having good solid products which is what we're one of the aims of the company is so and I see it getting sort of bigger and going even further than what it already has and we've got riders that are all doing current edits filming out there now and uh, hopefully it just gets bigger and bigger which is what we want Uh, Max Wood, I'm working at Proper Bike Co, um, a team rider and manager of uh, all the riders that ride for Proper, sort them out with like parts, fix them up, yeah, organise trips and just do bits like that. We've got about seven or eight riders on the UK team. Miller's sort of all round, yeah. sort of Park Street, um, like Dirt Rider, yeah, and we've got like Little Sam, who's Real Street, Jamie Street. Um, where Jamie can ride everything. I, I don't know, it's pretty diverse. I think everyone can sort of kind of ride everything. If we know of some riders that are like really progressing or would be good to fit in the team, then then yeah, we'll approach them. Really, that's sort of how it works. I mean, yeah, like you say, you, you do get a lot of people um, sending in videos, like writing to you on like Facebook and and trying to get a part of it. But like, if, if you're riding sort of out shines and you, you're a cool guy, then we'll get in touch. Yeah, I mean, it just sort of flows together. I want to do more stuff with Mike uh, Miller, get him, yeah. like, get, get him back, like, doing doing a lot of stuff again. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just everyone, just work with everyone, just see where it can go, just sort of let it flow. And, uh, yeah, just try and, try yeah. and get big. Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm basically the web guy. <laughs> I do everything from the B2B, which is the the back end, which the shops use to uh, purchase products, to uh, the Facebook and the Twitter. Our Facebook is completely full. We've had to uh, restart because the activity on it was so high that they actually blocked us. Okay. So we had to start all over again. As soon as I get in, I check my emails, check whether any new accounts have applied for the B2B, and. Uh, check the Facebook, the Twitter, see what other websites are doing. Yeah. Mostly try and get any new proper news out on the website as quick as possible. Yeah. And uh, that's basically it. I think it is definitely important to have the B2B. Most people, they like the old school style so they'll ring up and, but I think it's definitely improved sales and any distributor that doesn't have a B2B should should get one. Yeah, I'm John Playford and my job at Pop Bikes is just um, sales and sorting out the warehouse and hopefully I've got a role coming up from working in America for Proper as well, so hopefully next year. And, um, I've worked at Proper now for eight years okay. and they've I think it's the next big step. They was in America three years ago okay. and it was doing really well. And since then the distribution cut out mm-hmm. and it needs to be back over in the, in the States. So yeah, hopefully it should be okay. really good. Yeah, it should be really good. I can see it. It's gonna hopefully explode. It's gonna get, it's gonna get massive, hopefully. 
Definitely. I mean, it's it's big at the moment, but I yes. think it's there's a lot. There's some brands that get to a stage and then die back down, mm -hmm. but all the stuff that's that's coming out and the team that we've got working here, yeah. I feel, I'll only see good things happening. Yeah. Uh, my name's Steve Panow, and my job here is basically looking after the warehouse and making sure all the orders go out. Uh, normally come in come in in the morning, uh, help out, process any warranties. Yeah. Um, I help out help Ben on that side of things, so make sure anything that's broken obviously gets replaced if it's a genuine yeah. warranty, and then um, literally make sure the warehouse, all the stock is kind of topped up, make sure that all the product's tidy, and then uh, basically it's a case of making sure all the orders for the shops are pulled, check the orders, um, and then make sure they get sent out by courier, you know, usually next day, so it's just keeping it running smooth so everyone gets their stuff yeah. on time so yeah, yeah that's pretty much it and uh yeah and just generally trying a bit of fun with the guys <laughs> so much new product coming out that it's hard to fit it all in <laughs> you yeah. kind of like you kind of just squeeze it wherever and then it's just kind of old school logged yeah. in your head yeah. yeah you just you know where stuff is because if forever like i mean new products new limited edition colors come yeah. out and they might only be in for a week because so yeah, yeah everyone wants them we don't even don't even put them into stock yeah. like it comes in you know that people want it <laughs> gotta have good product but i think firstly i think the team is that's what everyone is drawn to mm -hmm. you know but that's my personal opinion yeah, okay, yeah.